This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Monday, 14th November 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Coyote. President Muhammadu Buhari is back in the country after a routine medical check in the United Kingdom. Buhari arrived at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja on Sunday evening. The presidential candidate of the ruling party, APC, Bola Hamid Tinubu, was perhaps one of the first set of persons to meet with the president alongside the national chairman, Abdullahi Adamu. This may not be unconnected to the imminent kickoff of the presidential campaign, which must have been put on hold due to the president's medical vacation. Meanwhile, President Buhari Buhari has condemned what he described as despicable and cowardly, the terrorist bomb attack that claimed several lives and injured tens of others in an explosion that rocked a busy pedestrian street in central Istanbul, Turkey. He expressed the shock and sadness of the Nigerian people over the incident, assuring the Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan that the government and people of the country will continue to support them in the global war against terrorism. President Buhari says the thoughts and prayers of the government and people of Nigeria are with the families of the innocent people killed and wish full speedy recovery to those injured. A suspect has now been arrested following the explosion that rocked central Istanbul, Turkey. Turkish authorities say at least six people have been killed and 81 wounded. The blast happened at about 16.20 local time on a shopping street in the Taksim Square area. The Turkish city's governor, Ali Yelikaya, says President Recep Tayyip Erdogan speaking at a news conference in Istanbul, he condemned what he called the vile attack and said the smell of terror was in the air, promising the perpetrators would be punished. On Monday morning, Interior Minister Suleiman Soylu said a person suspected of having left the bomb had been arrested by the police and accused the Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, of responsibility. As the 2023 general election in Nigeria is fast approaching, the Hubert Humphrey Fellowship in Nigeria is set to lend its voice in ensuring a free, fair and transparent outcome via its annual seminar. This time, the event, which is hybrid, has as its theme, Promoting Electoral Integrity in Nigeria, Prospects and Challenges, will hold in Abuja on Thursday, November 17, 2022. Dignitaries and speakers expected at the event include the U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Leonard, Festus Okoye, National Commissioner, Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and Lawrence Alobi, ex-commissioner of police of the Federal Capital Territory. Others are Samson Itodo, Executive Director, Yaga Africa, and Olusha Gwadeni, Chairman Editorial Board, This Day Newspaper. The Hubert Humphrey Fellowship is an exchange program for young and mid-career professionals from developing countries and nations undergoing democratic transition since 1978 and is named after U.S. Senator and Vice President. Hubert Horatio Humphrey. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember that we'll fail most times when we fail to try. Always try again. Have a fantastic week.